All right, welcome back, Pokemon fans. This is Angel of the Night 091 coming at you here with some ranked Wi Fi battles. So, today we are going to go ahead here and choose a team here with you guys right off the bat. And then we are going to go online and try to do some of the ranked matches here. So, let's just load up the PC and let's get started at this. Uh, so, in the last episode of Wi Fi battling, of course, we actually uh, went through with a team here. We had the Gyarados, the Agislash. The Pyroar, the Tyranitar, the Meowstic, and as well, um, what's it called here? Uh, Dedenne. So we're actually just going to switch these back into the PC here, and then we're going to get into doing some ranked uh, matches here. Now, if I can remember where they all go, that would be great. I don't like have a disor uh, disorganized uh, PC, so just be a moment. Now unfortunately I don't have any new Pokemon there yet, but I will here very soon. So we're just going to swap these ones out here. Uh, so I am going to switch the Gyarados. Uh, I think I'm going to switch it out with... Let's see here. I'm going to switch it out with the Gudra, of course. And I'll need a physical attacker, so I think I'm going to go with the Tauros here on this one. So right now we have a special attacker, we also have a physical attacker. Uh, so now we also need another Pokemon, something that might be able to Mega Evolve, of course. Uh, so we also have to make sure that we don't play into any weaknesses as well. Uh, rank matches are a little bit crazy, of course. So we have an Assault Vest, a Life Orb, and we also have... Uh, the Alakazite. Okay, so then we have two special attackers. We have one that's really good for defense, of course. Um, let's see here, what else we have? Um, would be nice to have a fire Pokemon. Now, Pyroar did a great job last time, and thank you guys very much for letting me know that the actual sound base moves actually go through the uh, through the sub. So that's awesome. I didn't know that about this generation, so that's pretty cool. I don't normally go for the sound-based uh, sound based um, moves. Um, okay, so I think I'm going to go back here and see if I can get something from another generation. Um, that'd be good for some physical attacking, although it doesn't have any kind of actual bulk to it. We already have Dragon, we already have Leftovers. We don't have Leftovers, so we can actually use Avalug this time for defense, which is awesome. And... We already have Leftovers, so we can't use the Gorgeist. A lot of things here have Leftovers, that's unfortunate. Um... We do have a Pattaya Berry boost here, but we do need something that has a fire-based move, I'm thinking. Probably a Fairy would be a good one to have, so maybe what I'll do... Uh, we could probably use Slurpluff. This have Unburden, and it does have the Calm Lines. So, maybe I will choose Slurpluff, just for the, uh, just for the Fairy ability. It does have the Flamethrower as well there, so we're not up the creek. Uh, let's see what else we got here. So we've got three specials, one special defense, two attackers, one defense. We need one more attacker. Uh, so, actually we could go with, we could go with Talonflame, I guess. Although that is Life Orb, and we already have Life Orb. Leftover, Citrus Berry. Leftovers. Where's have a light? Hmm. Actually. Yeah, leftovers on that one as well. Let's see here. We could go with pincer and just use a mega pincer. That'd be kind of cool. We could go with Flareon. It does have a slack berry. Let's just throw... Oh, let's just... Uh, well, I can't really do that. I might be able to. Let's see if there's any other ones that are available here first. But, 
Actually, I could go with Mega Kangaskhan. I haven't used Mega Kangaskhan yet. Alright, so let's just go with Mega Kangaskhan here. So we've got our team, we've got uh, Slurpuff, we've got Tauros, we've got, uh, we've got Gudra, Alakazam, we've got, uh, what is this? I can't remember what it's called now. Avalug, and we also have Kangaskhan. Perfect. Okay, so we are going to connect online and we are going to go through the uh, PSS. Okay, random matchup. We are going to go to a raiding battle. Now, I'm not very good at raiding, but we oh, can't connect to the global link due to ongoing maintenance. Oh. Let's see here. Maybe it's the same for free battling, I'm not sure. It's not, so of course in this scenario here, we're just gonna do free battle. We can't really do uh, the ranked matches at this time as they're currently undergoing the, uh... oh, weird. It's a problem with one of my Pokemon. That's unfortunate. And of course, I don't know which one it is, so I'm gonna assume it's the Kangaskhan. So I have used Tauros and I have used Alakazam. These three here, the Gudra and Avalug and Slurpuff I've already used. So I'll probably have to redo that one. I could probably go with the Hitmonlee. So we'll just try that again. Just one swap out. Shouldn't be a big deal. And in before, haha, <laughs> hacking and blah blah blah. Uh, of course, obviously, uh, I don't have the time to uh, sit down and train all my Pokemon, of course. So, I do have some PK Hex stuff. Monkey. So, my cat monkey right now is just going through and sniffing all the cables. There's a problem with the participating Pokemon. Okay, what is going on here? Sorry guys, if I'm making any noises, just trying to keep Monkey out of the cables here. He's a very curious cat. Okay, so we can't use the Hitmonlee either. Um, I want to... I think I'll get rid of Taros, because maybe that's the problem. But I thought I've used Taros in one of my previous matches, so I'm just going to go ahead and put the Kangaskhan back on the team. And we're going to choose another f uh, another fighting or another physical attacker. Um, maybe I'll just choose... Just use Talon Flame here. Alright. So I am going to go through and try to fix all these so that way they can actually, uh, they can actually work. And what did I just do here? Oh, that's terrible. Okay. My bad, guys. I accidentally disconnected from Wi-Fi, of course. This is probably one of the most unorganized videos uh, that I've probably ever done, so... Oh, there we go. So right now, as it is, I'm actually sitting quite far away from my actual laptop screen, so... If I look down a lot, I'm actually, right now, looking at the actual 3DS screen. Um, I found that uh, when my microphone is too close to my laptop, of course my laptop's uh, fans actually heat up, so a lot of the background noise that you hear is the fans. Now I've actually put on uh, two different uh, foam covers uh, onto my microphone to try to uh, phase that out. So, Alright, so back to battle spot. We are going to go back to uh, doing some free battles here, of course. Uh, so random matchup and free battle. Okay, and we are going to do single battle here. Perfect. So it looks like it was Tauros. Well, not perfect that it was Tauros, of course. Um, but now I know which one I have to go back and uh, correct. So we still have our three attackers. So we've got uh, Avalog, Kangaskhan, and uh, we have Talon Flame. And then we also have uh, our special attackers, which is Slurpuff. Uh, the Gudra and uh, Alakazam. So it looks like here they have Delphox, they have Greninja, they have Obama Snow, Steelix, Lugia, and Gyarados. So, of course, in this scenario here, they've got uh, three Pokemon that can Mega Evolve. I'm going to assume Steelix is probably going to come into play here as well. So, I am going to lead off, I believe, with. Um, I don't really want to go with Kangaskhan right off the bat because that's kind of 
ridiculous. Um, what I might do is I'm going to go with the Talon Flame. I'm going to go with the Alakazam because that's the safest bet. And he has uh, three physical attackers, so he has his Steelix, Snow, and Gyarados. So I'm actually going to use Avalug, just so that way uh, I can actually have the, have the bulk to try to uh, stand up against those Pokemon. Uh, so I'm going to confirm here. So that's my thought process on this team here, of course. Just going to try to get uh, Monkey to jump up here on the couch. Hey, monkey, come here. Come here. No? No one come here? Okay. Doesn't want to take part in anything I'm doing here, but he decides he's going to probably jump up on the table, and he's actually up behind the other mic, so... Come on, buddy. Can't, can't be up here. Come on. <laughs> oh, cats. Curiosity. Okay, so he's no longer around the way, so that's awesome. Alright, so guys, we are going to start this battle here. And we are against Avian. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to use my announcer voice. So the battle is about to begin, and it looks like Avian is taking the field. And it looks like, oh, he's going to send out his Gyarados. Now Gyarados is a water flying type Pokemon, but has the capabilities of Mega Evolution. At this time, I'm going to send out my Talon Flame, but it looks like I've been hit by the Intimidate. So I'm actually going to recall my Talon Flame and go out to my Avalug. Alright, here comes the Avalug out onto the field. Oh, and looks like Avian's going to go straight for the Gyarados Mega Evolution right into Mega Gyarados. Now he does lose the flying uh, type and he goes into the dark type. So it looks like he's gonna go straight for the waterfall. Now that waterfall is going to hit the Avalog, uh, not dealing much damage, and I am going to recover with some leftovers. So in order to attack here, what I'm actually gonna do, uh, I am gonna go straight for a Gyro Ball. Now I should have probably in theory gone for the Avalanche, but the Gyro Ball might be able to deal some damage as I am slower. I don't have uh, any speed Fs uh, or IVs uh, actually in place, and of course that did nothing. Oh my god, this thing is bulky. Okay, so I am going to then go for the Avalanche. Hopefully, hopefully, I can use the Avalanche. Oh, he's going for the Dragon Dance. Uh-oh. Not bad, not bad. Um, still getting the leftovers here. Unfortunately, the avalanche didn't do anything. Now, I do feel that he's probably going to go again for another Dragon Dance. And unfortunately, this is going to be a bad scenario for me because if I don't get it properly done, uh, he's going to just sweep my entire team, which I feel that he's probably already done. But the more he Dragon Dances, the more that I can use the Gyro Ball. Uh, so I might try uh, once more using Gyro Ball just to see, but I do have a little bit of a risk there because if I don't use the Avalanche and I survive, it could be a major play on my part. So I am going to try maybe just the Avalanche there one more time. I don't know if he's going to continue to do the Dragon Dance, so we are risking it here at this moment. So he is going for the Dragon Dance. Unfortunately, that's not really going to help out in this scenario. Uh, so a speed rose, and here's the avalanche, of course, not dealing much damage at all, uh, really. So I am getting the recover off here, or not the recover, the leftovers off, and the leftovers are going to recover my health. So I am going to go for the Gyro Ball, because I feel he's probably going to go for another Dragon Dance. Unfortunately not, I was completely wrong. Oh, oh, live, live, ah, uh, what? Yeah, I'm not using Recover, or Avalanche. So there's the Gyro Ball. It is hitting harder this time. And there's the Leftovers. So I am getting my health back here. Now, I am going to go for a Recover here at this moment, because I feel he's probably going to attack. Alright, live, 
live, live, live, live. Yes, there's the recover. Recovers in play. I'm regaining my health. Sweet. Above half the hit points. And I am gaining my health back with the leftovers. Alright, so now what I can do is I can actually go for the Avalanche this time as I don't have to worry about his Gyarados. This Avalug is a beast, guys. A beast. Alright, so... Let's see here. Hey, hey, Eric, thanks for the nice thumbs up to you, buddy. All right, there's the earthquake. Oh, ho, ho. avalanche time. Now this should be enough to take it out. Sweet. All right, so the Mega Gyarados goes down and we only have to worry about two more Pokemon on this team. Looks like Avalug is a good Pokemon to choose if you want to use the uh, something that's defensive, of course. So I think it's a good choice. Uh, so here we have it. We have Steelix coming into play. Uh, what I might actually do here, I am going to recover. Because obviously I, I don't think that Steelix is going to be able to do much to me unless it has maybe Fire Fang. Which I feel that it doesn't at this time. I haven't seen very many Steelix actually have Fire Fang in this generation, so I might just be... I might be crazy, but I'm not sure. Okay. And of course he can't Mega Evolve to uh, Steelix at this time, or Mega Evolve Steelix, uh, because he's actually already uh, used his Mega Evolution for this, for this match. So it looks like he's gone for the Heavy Slam. And that did not much damage at all, which is awesome, because we're pretty well the same weight. Heavy Slam will only work uh, if you are heavier. Well, it'll work, but it'll work only work. Uh, it'll work better if you have more weight to your Pokemon. So that's why he has it on a Steelix, of course. Uh, so at this time, I am going to go for an Earthquake here, just to dish out some damage. Now that's Stone Edge. I'm going to take that like a beast. There's the Earthquake. Now that should do quite a bit of damage to it, I think. Yeah, that did a decent amount. So my health is going back up, so I am in the green zone again here. And I am going to go with an Avalanche this time, because I feel like he's going to hit me this time. And there's the Stone Edge. Ooh, that did a lot more damage than I thought it would. There's the Avalanche. And that did quite a decent amount of damage as well. Uh, so, pretty well at this point, I'm going to rely on him missing a Stone Edge. Uh, and try to go right for the recover. Okay, just eyeing each other down here. Lonavian. What are you gonna do, bruh? No, I'm just joking. But seriously, what are you gonna do? Um, I'm not sure what he's gonna do. So he's withdrawing his Steelix. Um, he's going to bring in his Lugia. Now, that could be a bad play uh, for me, of course, because Lugia can either go both ways. It can either be physical or it can be a special attacker. Uh, I feel at this point it's probably a special attacker if he's bringing it in. So this might actually take me down pretty quick. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do an avalanche here. Um, the avalanche is going to allow me to hit uh, his flying type Pokemon, of course. So there's the Psycho Boost. So it looks like it's a special attacker. And that did a ton of damage. Uh, so it looks like his special attack has gone down. So I am going to have to... I'm going to probably... Hmm, I'm going to Mega Evolve my Alakazam. Now that's going to... <clears throat> excuse me. Allow me to outspeed his Lugia. And as well as it's also going to allow me to uh, attack it with uh, full force here. Now the question is, is do you use Dazzling Gleam? Or do you use Psychic? Now, of course, uh, I'd get stabbed with Psychic, but the Lugia is going to resist it. And I don't think Dazzling Gleam is going to do much damage to it. Uh, I'm going to try it, though, uh, in hopes that it actually does more than I think it will. So I'm just going to try that, because I know Psychic's not going to deal much damage at all. Uh, so here we have it. We have Mega Alakazam out onto the field here. And we've got Trace, and we've got Pressure now, which is awesome. 
And here we have, we have the Dazzling Gleam. Now Dazzling Gleam is gonna go ahead and hit that Lugia, not doing much damage at all. And of course it's a physical, it's a mixed attacker, uh, which doesn't look like it actually dealt much damage. Okay. So I'm probably gonna try Psychic here just to see which one actually does more damage. Oh, he's switching. Okay, so he goes back out into his Steelix here. And there's the Psychic. Ooh. So I assume that he probably doesn't want that special attack drop that he just had. Okay, Lugia comes back out into play. Alright, I am going to try that Psychic Attack here, just to see what I can actually do to it, of course. Alright, there's the Psychic. And it did nothing at all. This is going to be a difficult battle here, guys. Because that Talon Flame is going to have a difficult time with this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to do much, unless I actually get the Brave Bird off first which I think with Gale Wings it would actually let me do that. I think flying type attacks have priority if I'm not mistaken, so if I am wrong, you know, my bad. Um, <laughs> so there's a Psycho Boost. I did get, I did get a Recover off. Uh, so the Psycho Boost is there. I'm down to 57 hit points, and he has a special attack drop. So he's basically being... As much as he's walling me, I'm walling him kind of at the moment. Uh, so I do have to play it uh, smart here, so I am going to go straight for the Recover. But I only have so many Recovers, right? This is a pretty good battle, to be honest with you. For a free battle, that's pretty good. Maybe some of the uh, ranked matches uh, have decided to come into the free battle zone, uh, as the ranked matches are currently down. Uh, okay, so there's, uh, probably gonna have to go with the Psychic. I hope that I'm gonna get a special defense drop, which I don't think I will. But if I do, that would be, uh, quite awesome, actually. And hopefully my mic is actually, uh, recording perfectly fine this time. I know that it was doing a lot of background noise there before. So, if it does, I might have to pick up another pop filter for the back of the mic. But I'm not sure. Okay, so I'm down to 32 hit points. It looks like his Earthquakes are actually hitting... Uh, because he keeps getting a special defense drop, or special attack drop, I'm not sure what he's going to be able to do for my, um, what's it called? My Talon Flame. Because if his attack keeps dropping, there's really not much that can be done there. Okay, he's still recovering. He's actually going to run out of Earthquakes, I think, before I actually run out of Recovers. I don't really want to bring in my uh, Talon Flame here at the moment, so... I'm just going to let him play it out, just to, just to see. You know, it might be... Uh, it's kind of stalling in a way, and I hate doing this to people. Uh, because I obviously don't like to be stalled out. So unless he gets a crit... There we are. Okay, so I actually have the ability to attack once. Um, now, of course, he is psychic and flying, so the focus blast isn't going to do anything. Um, I'm just going to choose Dazzling Gleam. Just to get a little bit of damage off. Now, of course, uh, I think he had Recover, so... Of course, none of us wants to make any kind of a move where we're going to uh, gonna slip up here, so... So regardless, uh, when this battle ends, I am going to do two more battles after it, and this is going to go up uh, tonight. So tonight is Monday Monday evening, I think it is, and it's uh, currently quarter after 10, so I'm not sure when it would actually get uploaded. I, I kind of have a slower internet connection, of course, now, so uh, if it does go up, it'll probably be late Monday night. So maybe what I'll do is I'll schedule this one here for, uh, for Tuesday which is tomorrow, of course. 
All right, there's a Psychic. And we've hit the Lugia here, of course. No special defense trap. And there's the Hydro Pump hitting the Alakazam. Living to 32 hit points, which is pretty sweet. All right, he recovers with his leftovers, of course. And uh, pretty well at this point, I think he's going to determine... Uh, what am I going to do here? I'm going to recover. Now, he's probably going to have a recovery option as well, which is unfortunate. But I really need him to slip up here. We're both basically standing each other off. Um, trying to see what we can do here. Neither of us want to give in, of course. It's been a pretty good match so far. So it's been like nearly like a 15 minute match, which normally the matches go for at least half an hour. So I would say this is a pretty good match if, uh, oh, oh, he missed the special, uh, oh, he missed the Psycho Boost. That's unfortunate for him, but it's also good that he also didn't lose his special attack uh, in any way because, I mean, he really needs it at this point. Uh, so there's the Psychic. It's not very effective. Ooh, Feather Dance. So he's trying to lower my speed. Oh, he's lowering my attack? He must be out of attacks at this point. I think it's only about 10 PP, I think, for Hydro Pump. Earthquake probably is done as well, so he's probably got 10 Earthquakes. Yeah, so he is going straight for that, so I think he's out of his attacks at this time. So I think it's pretty safe to say that I'm, I'm winning this match. Shout out to Shadow, who just signed on to his PSS system in-game. Hello, Shadow! Alright, so we're gonna go right for another Dazzling Gleam here gonna hold off on the psychics of course just in case now he might forfeit here I'm not sure what he's gonna do oh that's pretty good that's pretty good and he's still going with the feather dance of course not really able to do anything here okay and dazzling gleam Right, and oh so close my attack power won't go any lower he is gaining his hit points back with uh, leftovers here all right and we're gonna go straight for another psychic all right so this is pretty well gonna be the end of the match I think Garrett there guys yep there we are all right so Lukia fainted here of course so that's, that's sick so we did have, uh, pretty well, a 20-minute battle with Avian, which is awesome. So it was 2-0. That's a pretty good match. Alright, we are going to save the battle uh, later for me, so that way I can uh, battle against uh, Avian again. Uh, and we are going to continue, so we're going to do two more matches. And challenge. go with number two for the audio. Okay, so hopefully these battles are not 20 minute battles, of course. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what his name is here, but uh, good luck to you. Alright, so he's Blastoise for Alligator. Holy jeez, he's got all the water Pokemon from uh, the starters. Okay, so that is uh, two bulky... Uh, three? Whoa, oh, jeez, okay. Um, I need something that's going to be able to take this thing out. I can't use Gudra. I can't use... Well, I can probably use Avalug. Kangaskhan I could use for sure. So I'm going to use Kangaskhan to start off with here. I'm not going to use Talonflame. I'm going to take Avalug with me and my Alkazam. Uh, the other ones are, are not going to be able to do much damage, and if I take Slurpuff, unfortunately it's going to be outsped by one, two, probably three of those Pokemon. So we're going to choose those ones. So I am going to Mega Evolve, I think Kangaskhan right off the bat. All 
right. Let's get this battle started here, guys. So I am sending out Kangaskhan first, as I had said. And it looks like we've got Feraligator coming out here as well. So, right off the bat, like I said, I am going to Mega Evolve, and right now I'm going to also fake out this Feraligator. Now, of course, he can Mega Evolve uh, two of his Pokémon, of course, the Blastoise, uh, and as well as, uh, uh, what's it called, Swamper. Alright, so we flinched, he can't move. Hopefully I'm faster, I am jolly, of course. I'm gonna go straight for a Power Up Punch. Alright, so my attack power is raised. There's the second hit. My attack power was raised again. Now, I don't think he's going to one-shot, of course. There's the Dragon Dance. Dragon Dance, uh, of course, raises his speed. I don't think it's really going to do much here for him, of course. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight for a Double Edge. Now, Double Edge should be able to take out... Oh! Oh, he's faster! Whoa! Oh my... Oh my god! Holy sh... Whoa, I did not think he was going to outspeed there. Uh, I am going to have to go into my Avalug, of course. I did not think Kangaskhan was going to get outsped there. That was insane, guys. <laughs> that was insane. Um, okay, I'm going to go for a Gyro Ball, because obviously his speed is faster than mine here at the moment. Oh, there's the Crunch. So he doesn't have any kind of ground-type moves. I think he was hoping to get a flinch there, of course. Here's the Gyro Ball. Oh, I didn't take it out. Oh, oh no, okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Gyro Ball here again. And there's the Crunch, so I think he's trying to flinch me out there. But he can probably, holy jeez, that did a lot of damage. Alright, so down goes the for alligator. That was awesome, guys. Like, Dragon Dance for alligator. Use it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I did recover with some leftovers here. Now I do have 78 hit points, so that's not too bad. Okay, here comes the Empoleon. I am gonna recover my hit points here. Oh, it's a special attacker! Ooh. Okay, so my bad, first of all. Ooh. Okay, so I only have Alakazam. Now, I kind of wish that I, you know, had waited uh, to Mega Evolve that one, so. Hmm. So, I'm going to go for a Focus Blast here, because the Focus Blast will deal uh, damage to the Steel Typing. Hopefully, I can actually do some mass damage to it. And I did. Uh, ooh, the Rain Dance, okay. That's interesting. Uh, so what I'm going to do next, I'm pr actually, you know what? I think he's going to Aqua Jet. Uh, I'm pretty sure Empoleon can get Aqua Jet, but I'm going to go for Psychic here. Okay, so he didn't go for Aqua Jet. My bad. Uh, obviously, I'm over predicting. But there's Psychic taking down the Empoleon, so that's number two. So we are one to one. Uh, so I'm pretty sure he's leaving his Mega Evolution for last. Now it's either going to be Blastoise or Swampert. It looks like it's going to be Swampert here, so... Hmm. So, if I'm not mistaken, it doesn't gain any other typing, I don't think. I think it was just the Sceptile, that generation. So I'm going to go for the Stab with Psychic. And he is going to go for the Mega Evolution here. Alright, there's the Mega Swampert, guys. Oh, he went for Protect, so he's scouting to see what I'm going to do here, of course. Okay, this is this is kind of sketching me out here. I'm not sure what Mega Swampert can do. Um, oh, he's gone for the waterfall. Oh, he gets Swift Swim, doesn't he? Does he get Swift Swim? I'm pretty sure he gets Swift Swim. I'm gonna have to look that up. That was awesome. I never expected to lose to all the water starters. That was a brilliant team. I like it. Now, if someone comes to me against uh, with fire typing and stuff like that, that'd be sick. So I am going to save that battle, so that way I can use the Verse Recorder uh, matchups there again. So I am going to uh, battle against that team a little more and learn where I actually went wrong there. So 
that's pretty well how I learn how I'm actually battling, of course, guys. So I highly suggest that you try it out. So I'm going to choose battle theme number four. I do want to use Slurpuff and Gudra, and I also want to use Talonflame as well. Um, I hope I actually get to use them in this video. So, because so far all I've really used are the other ones, so. I think for this round I'm actually going to choose those three regardless. Just that way I can see what they can do. Uh, oh, this is not fair. What is this? Uh, level 38 Ditto, level 1 Larvesta. Looks like I'm going to be battling a Latios and a Lar... Um, what's it called? Uh, so, oh man, I don't want to do this to this guy. That's unfortunate. Now, I could be completely wrong, and the Ditto could totally take me out, of course, but I feel like it probably won't. So I'm going to lead off with the Talon Flame here, maybe just to uh, make up for this match. I might do one more after this, but it is, uh, of course, getting late here. So there's the Talon Flame out onto the field. It is a flying fire-type Pokemon, and we've got... Uh, God, I wish I could remember that one's name. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. I should... Yeah, the match was forfeited. Okay. I wish I knew what the name of that one was. I can't think of it right now. I'm not going to save that match. Uh, we are going to do another one here. <laughs> Just bumped the camera there. My bad. Okay, so I'm going to choose those Pokemon there again. Hello there, Tiny Lion from Missouri. Okay, let's see what you got. Okay, um, so he's got one, two, three, four dragons, so I can definitely get away with their puff. Uh, Gudra I can get away with as well, maybe. Oh, man. Um... You know what? I'm just, like I said, I'm going to choose those Pokemon. I haven't used them yet in this video, and I would like to, uh, like to give them a try out. I haven't used these ones yet. I don't think I've ever used a Talonflame. But I do see everyone using them, so maybe it'll actually do some good for me. Seems to do everyone very well as well, so I'm not sure. Um, the Slurp, 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 Puff. Um... Definitely is interesting to me. I, I've never used it, so I'm not sure how it'll actually play out. Uh, so it looks like he. Oh, I can't use switch. Oh, yeah. uh, he could have ice types too. Oh wow, this tentacle could do some serious damage to this entire team. I am going to go straight for the brave bird. Now I think with Gale Wings, I actually get priority regardless. Um, so there's the brave bird, swooshing down right to it. it. Did hit it, and it. Oh, one hit knockout. Sick. Okay, so there goes the Tentacruel. Ooh, that did some serious damage. I am life orbed as well, so that's not good. I only have so many uh, plays with, uh, with Talonflame. Looks like Salamence is coming out. And it's got an Intimidate, of course. Which I think most people should probably go with Moxie by now. But uh, I'm not sure. So I am going to go for the Brave Bird again. Now, theoretically, I should have probably gone into Slurpuff. There's the Brave Bird. I am going to attack first. Now, hopefully his defenses aren't as good. But I don't know anything about Mega Salamence. That did, you know, that did a fair amount of damage. That's not too bad. But I definitely uh, did lose my Talon Flame, of course. So down goes the Talon Flame. I, like I said, I should have switched out to Slurpuff. Uh, but I am going to do that now. All right, there's a little cupcake Pokemon, a little cherry on top. Uh, so I am gonna go for the Draining Kiss. Now he probably has another type of an attack to avoid fairies, but he might actually swap out if he doesn't, of course. Now if he doesn't, I would assume that he, I would assume that you would normally have like an earthquake or something, but it looks like all he has is dragon type attacks. Now he swapped out into his Giratina, which is a dragon ghost type. Um, so I'm hoping the Draining Kiss will still do damage to this. 
which it looks like it's gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna go right back for a draining kiss here again. Let's just see. I don't know what Garatina's gonna do here. Now it looks like I outsped, which is kind of interesting. I didn't think I would outspeed of uh, a Garatina. Now it looks like he's gone for a Shadow Force. Uh, now Shadow Force is a Ghost type attack. Now I think it's physical, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I do want to save the Slur Puff for when I go against the Salamence. So I'm going to swap out and go right out into the Gudra here. Alright, so here we've got it. We've got my awesome Gudra. He is going hit, to get hit by the Shadow Force, of course. And it is a physical attack. Now I did take that pretty well. And I'm just going to go straight for a Dragon Pulse here. And I'm still faster than the Giratina. For some reason, I'm not sure. Okay, so there we go, we've gotten rid of that one. Now, all he has left is his Mega Salamence. So if I swap out my Gudra and go into... If I go into... This is very risky because you might already be predicting this or not. But if I... I'm just going to go for the Dragon Pulse and play it safe. Looks like he's gone for the Flamethrower. So he was predicting my Surf Puff. And I'm actually, uh, I'm actually special defense uh, high or heavy, so I've got like I think it's like 350 uh, in special defense. There's the dragon pulse, and there goes the match. All right, perfect, guys. So that's pretty well it for this session, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed all of the matches here today. They were all really good matches. Um, you know, if you want to see certain Pokemon that I battle with post it in the actual comment section below so that way i can actually uh you know go ahead and get those together now i do have uh stage one stage two pokes as well i do have some evolate uh pokemon so just let me know what it is that uh, you'd like to see post it down below press the uh, like button of course give it a great big subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys next time have a good evening